Rocky Mountain Race Week, day two, doing some maintenance. We're gonna adjust the valves on here. And I have kind of my own theory that I like and a lot of people have opinions and I have my way that I like to do it. So here's what we do. You take your starter wire that goes down to your starter, like the exciter wire for the solenoid. And I stuck a screwdriver in the end so it makes contact with the terminal. You always make sure that your ignition key is turned off. If your ignition is to run, it'll fire the motor up. So with the key off, you can just bump positive and it moves the engine over. So switch over here and you can see the exhaust. We're gonna start on number six and we're gonna get six intake valve all the way down and that means six rocker arm is all the way up. When the rocker arm's all the way up, there's no lift, then you can adjust the valve because you know that six intake is all the way down. And um, it's, it's like foolproof. You just follow the direction. So we bump it. There you can see six exhaust going down. Now six intakes moving. So it's a max lift right there. So I like to do 20 thousandths on this motor. So take your 20 thousandths feeler gauge, cram it up under your rocker and then feel. So, oh yeah, that's tight. That's a very tight, so that one's good. Now, you just bump it around and do six intake, which means get six exhaust all the way down. Just like that, six exhaust down, switch to your 10 thousandths feeler gauge, go under the intake valve. Since we retorque the head, it might be extra tight. We might have to back it off. Oh no, see, that's actually kind of loose. So we'll break free the nut. Give it a little turn in the Allen in the center. Jam the nut back down. Feel the tension on the gauge. There you go. Now, now it's, it's definitely tighter. Cummins makes a real torque wrench that torques the the adjuster going into the push rod. We just don't have it here. So now number six is completely done. You just move to number five. Get five intake all the way down. It's just like that. Go back to your 20 thousandths feeler gauge. And then check underneath that valve. See, she's tight. Now switch back. Bump it around, just like you did on number six. Number five, exhaust down. Number six, up. Our number five, intake up. 10 thousandths feeler gauge under the spring thingy, the bucket thingy. There you go, that one's good and tight. And that's it. You just work your way all the way forward. With this method, you can get um, sidetracked, you can get bothered or disturbed, and you know where you're at, you just leave your tools on that rocker. The, the method of getting number one at top dead center and adjusting X, Y, Z, I don't like that because people lose track and then you might miss a valve. This way you start at the very number six exhaust and you work your way all the way forward and you know when you're done. That's my theory, works well for me. Valves adjusted. We put the top half together. So at this point, we're gonna fire it up and listen to it with it open just to verify everything. You'll see the oil start filling up in the rockers. All right, bust her off. Clear. Clear. You can actually see the oil starting to fill up in the rocker on it. Just like to verify and look at it. Listen to it. They talk to you the whole time. You just gotta listen to them. That's happening. 